Congrats again, Rue. Hello to the YouTubes. Um, Noodle ate the cream cheese wrapper, and I'm very tired as per usual. All right, <laughs> check out the options. I don't suppose there's gonna be anything I feel the need to change. Subtitles, yes. Progressive scan, fuck yes. Uh, oh wait, why did, yeah. Progressive scan. You can read this, press square. I can read. I know how words work. Green needs to move to left. That looks, yeah, that looks good. Home farm, please. Blood. While I personally would like never turn the blood off, it's nice to see like that it's an option. Why did progressive scan? Oh, you gotta press X to confirm. I press triangle. I'm dumb. Oh, it kept the screen adjust though. Okay, anyways. Uh, camera is probably fine. Low motion cam? Often, never, seldom. We'll do normal, normal's good. Control is lying, all that shit should be fine, it's fine. The suspects are Gary and Charlotte. You forgot one, you forgot the noodle. The noodle is a suspect. My number one suspect. And the cookie ingredient bag? I don't remember moving it. If I did, just look behind you. Because if I moved it from where we had it like next to the pantry, I would have just put it like behind, like in front of the pantry. So anyways, we're gonna try normal mode. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's normal mode. What else would you do, man? It's normal. Normal. Normal mode. And we struggled enough with the first one, like. I mean the chair on the wall? Yeah, like I said, I'm on the other side of the pantry. I'm wondering how this one's gonna look compared to the first one. The first one didn't look bad, it just, it looked a lot more cartoony than I remembered it. I mean... What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm guessing the events of the first one didn't exactly go to plan. Since there's like this dark mist shit coming at us here. I'm assuming the misty dark shit is, is sand. Wait, were those tendrils? Are there tendrils in that that dark void? Or you're like parkour master, just go above. Having not finished the first game, I'm super confused. Oh, was there was that like a demon, bro? Hi, demon guy. Didn't expect to see you there. Now we're on ship. I'm guessing this is like before that. Like that was a. This is a flashback. Reef it. What is reefing the mainsail? Bro, it's like raining out. What's the point exactly of catching them things on fire first? Like that wood's not gonna catch fire. Not only are you in the ocean, but it's fucking downpouring. Also, why do these people have like pig heads? I have so many questions. <laughs> That's a butt. <laughs> <That's> a butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It all makes sense now. <laughs> the butt brought the butt brought it all into perspective. Fuck me, I can't talk. Okay, 
Were their eyes always glowing red? I could have swore they just like randomly started glowing there. And now they're a different shade of red. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I'm very, very lost, to be honest. Uh, okay, square to do things. Hold R1 to block. Okay, this frame rate already looks like shit. That's good. He looks like Morgan from Dragon Age. Man, I do not remember anything from Dragon Age. I really need to play it again one of these days. A square, square, square. Okay, so we can't attack out of a block. Can we block out of a combo? It, we can. It seems like we can just block at any time. That's good, actually. Oh, is square or triangle a power attack? Uh, not exactly a power attack, but it's an attack. You, like, flip over and then... Oh, we can, like, throw people. That's neat. Surely we can, like, combo these things together in some way. Since you update your PlayStation, it tries to connect to the server. It can't. You keep getting a damn error. Bro, that sucks. Maybe you need to, like, um, download an update. It sounds like a bad update. That's what it sounds like. I don't know, of course, but maybe you need to, like... Oh, oh, we can throw, like, other people's weapons. Um, Maybe you need to download the update onto a flash drive and reinstall the update? That's what I was thinking. But if it was a failed update, I feel like it just wouldn't work at all, though. So, I don't know. But if all else fails, it might be, be worth updating from flash drive oh that's some dirty ass water wait what oh because water heals us right yeah okay yeah, they definitely upped their music game since uh since the first game huh <laughs> just chopped his fucking head off that was sick See, the character models are so weird, man, because, like, it seems like they're going so cinematic with everything else, and then, like, the high-quality music and everything. The game definitely doesn't look bad. It's just, like, this weird, uncanny mix of cartoon and realism. I would expect, like, with the sound of the game and everything, I, I would expect it to sound more like, I don't know, or sound, to look more like God of War or something. <laughs> Of course, I guess it's just really like the main character, huh? There's Morgan there. She didn't look too weird. She looked more like what I would expect a uh, like somebody to look like in the game. Oh, part seems God of War. -y. I wonder if it came out after God of War, and they drew like some inspiration from it. X triangle. X square square. Okay. Bro, <laughs> speaking of God of War, I'm so glad my PS2, like, works well. It's still in good condition. Because I straight up forgot to turn it off since uh, Wednesday when we played God of War. I turned it on. It was still on the save screen that we were on <laughs> whenever we quit. Do you not have, like, any rebound mechanics? No. Or revenge mechanics, I guess. just oh no there you go now you're blocking whoa you have like a five part combo what is that shit damn you lady oh you call yourself a master sword i don't call myself anything Crash, maybe. Damn you, lady. 
Bro, are we gonna die to the first boss? Is there a rewind? Is that actually GG? <laughs> Fuck, that's actually GG. Bro, that's the first fucking boss. What? <laughs> <laughs> my god no retry we're not fucking game overing on that shit you kidding me do it again do it again hopefully there's a decent checkpoint like not 10 damn the fuck man right that's crazy okay i mean it's fine we can do it it's just like uh, i should probably go back and heal because i don't know if it gives us a heal before uh, we, we fight her. Hold on, go back to water. Drink this shit. I mean, this water looks fucking nasty. We're probably gonna get cholera or something, but it's fine. What is, like, we had some circles around that ring. What does, what did it do? Wait, oh, that's, of course, this isn't God of War. I can control the camera. I don't know, I guess I'm just, yeah. I got a war on the mind, man. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do you see that shit? I paused at the perfect time. His face is separated from his body, from his head. His face... Oh, he can't see my mouse. But his face is up there and his head is clearly behind this wheel. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> oh, good to know the game's jank as fuck, that's fine. <laughs> I was just curious, like, if we could, um, like, if there was, like, power-ups or some shit like that. Wait, what the fuck? This is different. Bro, I shouldn't have skipped that cutscene. Did we, like, watch ourselves die and then... Go back to the beginning? We gonna, like, do stuff? Wait, what? But the tutorial start- I'm so confused! This game's jank. Nah, I'm, I'm, I think this is meant to happen. Because, like, the rewinding time shit and whatnot. Anyways, um, <laughs> while I was looking at our face detached from our body, son of a bitch, dude, we're gonna die again. I was thinking, oh fuck, I found out something neat on that Twitch has now. The clips that I or you guys make, I can change them to vertical clips, and apparently Twitch, I haven't been on the Twitch mobile web forever. But apparently Twitch has their own like TikTok, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, etc. sort of thing now. And you can uh, also upload those clips to like TikTok or YouTube shorts or whatever. So if people clip the streams, we can we can share them, which is pretty cool. Easily. Oh my god, dude, she's gonna kick my ass again. Bro, why? why is she so good? I can't even get a fucking hit in on her. Shit, dude, we're dead. Maybe we do need to play on easy mode. No, retry this shit again. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep doing this shit until we win. I believe in you. I believe in you too. Thank you. I'll drink to that. Thank you. Water drink. We got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nope, air so high. That sucks. I hope you get it figured out legit. Like, that sucks. Less frequently, though? I mean, any improvement's good improvement, right? It's something. No. I, I don't think I said your name. I was laughing about this. Can I get it to happen again? Oh, no. I must have paused at the wrong time. Damn. 
That was probably the best glitch I've ever seen in a game, man. His face separating from his face. <laughs> like, his face texture being up in the air and the model just being faceless on the ground. It was pretty great. I know, I guess this is what we did the first time. Okay. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. Wait, they weren't dead? I thought they were dead. Skip all this shit. Fast forward. Actually have to focus, this is bullshit. Damn you, lady! Oh, fucking A. Why? Why? Okay, just... Just block. Let her attack. Do her little combo combo thing. Bro, we, like, don't have enough time. Okay. Yeah, 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 you bitch. Don't swipe at my feet, that's weird. You call yourself a master swordsman? Ah! Uh, why can you like block so quick? Can't even get a full combo off on her before she just fucking invincible of fire. Bro, I'm literally floating. This game <laughs> game's broke. Oh fuck. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Tell me when you're going to surrender fight for real. Oh fuck. Bro, just let me get up at least. We got it this time. We got this shit. Where? No. Okay. That was rude. Okay, that was a plan loss. That, was, that wasn't me. There was no quick time events or anything. That was just... Okay. Good. I didn't fuck up. Travel to the Maharaja's palace. You found the sands of time. Worse, I opened them. Whosoever shall open the sands must die. I was forced to kill those I fought beside, those I had loved. But now an unstoppable beast chases you. Use the sands themselves to reverse time, making it as if the hourglass was never opened. The beast, the Dahaka, is the guardian of the timeline. You were mm. supposed to die, so it will catch you and see to it that you meet your fate. It is better to try than to wait here for death. Madness. Even if you manage to reach the island, you'll still have the Empress of Time. I will travel back in time and prevent the sands from ever being made. If there are no sands, the Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. Go then, my prince. But know this. Your journey will not end well. You cannot change your fate. Sure you can. 
You just gotta find the fates, cut their strings, and murder them. That's all. That's, it's easy, man. <laughs> Fuck. I don't see the problem here. We'll deal with it in no time. I mean, literally, since we have the problem to, like, control time and all that. Like, it <laughs> should be easy. I don't see why the Dahaka is so mad at us, though. Like, if we made it like the sands were never open, like, undid the opening, then why are we still meant to die? Presumably, we no longer have the power, right? So we can't, like, be still... My sword's... Gone. Mad at us for like controlling time or messing with time or whatever. Oh, yes, a piece of driftwood, the best sword. What's that little thing that's filling up up there? Oh, this is okay. That's a different view. Our one still does that. That does nothing. Oh, that puts away the sword. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's dead. And she will pay. Okay. Is there... In the controls? There should be. Patient. We'll leave free look for now. I don't know if I need to invert. There we go. That's better. And towards an edge and press X to jump. X to... Jump. X also dodge rolls though, so. Oh, the fountain also lets us save. Okay, cool. Sure, we'll save the game. Why not? Saving's nice. I need to clear my memory card. I say that all the time, but I always forget to do it until it's like too late and we don't we just have no space left. Memory card full. Save well and save often. 100%, man. Truly words to live by. Okay, so we can, like, jump on and off ledges and stuff. All of that's to be expected. Can we use sword on here? Yeah. I love how this stick makes sword sounds whenever we put it on our back or pull it out. Oh, wait, bird. Not dead yet. I mean, it looks like we're going here. And jumping away. Ah, look at me go! I know how to game. For landscape camera. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't want the landscape camera. Thank you very much. I mean, I guess there's probably times when, like, it could be very helpful to see more of the world or whatever, but... Oh, we were supposed to be running along the wall. Let's go... Okay. Parkour. Go up here. Oh! Oh, I was scared. I thought we were gonna die. Yeah, okay. Okay. R2 for first person. Oh. Okay, so I do need to invert this as well. I guess when we're doing the poles. Okay. That was bad. Climb this pole first. Can we do the quick jump thing? We can. That's handy. Learn that in the first game. Ooh, chesty chest. Hello. Where? Artwork. That is very vibrant yellow. He's the one the you guys are loud. I, th <laughs> I think the game wants you to know ow. Can we kill these things with our stick or... Yes, okay, it just, it just takes a lot to kill them with stick. Can we, if we pick up these things, can we use them to fight or only to throw? 
Because I'd much rather have their shitty ass hammers or whatever they're using than this piece of driftwood. Uh, probably climb the pole, huh? No? Okay, never mind. Guess we're... All running? Getting stuck on invisible geometry? That works. Wall again, and then jump. Plug at me, go. Fucking professional. Their fucking voices are fantastic, dude. I'm trying to pick up the thing! Very gloomy, the island of time here, eh? Wait, if it's the Empress of Time that, like, we're hunting down or whatever, was it the same Empress that sent Morgana to kill us? Oh, thank you so much for this wonderful map. This is, this is very helpful, James. <laughs> thank you for telling me about that. That worked. There we go. If our enemy is unarmed, we offer them a sword! Well... I'd really rather not fight her again. Kicked our ass the first time. A <laughs> couple of times. <laughs> Spider sword. This ancient sword is common on the island. For a three combo attack. Okay. So basic ass sword. Triangle. Wait. Triangle. Triangle. Bro, I'm trying to do the tutorial. I don't really see... Oh, you bastard. I don't really see the point in that combo. We can definitely be hit in the middle of animations, which sucks. To be expected, I guess. Press square triangle? Guess we do like a little twirly twirl. Ooh, big twirly twirl. Okay, so these are all like focused around twirls. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Old triangle. Power attack. I think mean, that makes sense. Are we supposed to be chasing her down though? Or just going this way? Where are we going? That's probably just chasing her down, eh? Oh, door open, okay. Water! Give me water, please. I'm very hurt. Yes, I'll save again. Oh, ah, whatever. I didn't mean to make a new save, but it's fine. Jump. I wonder, like, do we get the sands back? So that we can time stuff again? I mean, that was such, like, an iconic part of the first game, at least. It'd be weird if it wasn't an option in this one at all. 
hello. Raven, sir. X square. What? X square square? That didn't do anything. X square square. Bro. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the fucking tutorial. I grow tired of this. Have a good night, Lele. Drink some water. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. I don't like this guy. I grow tired of this. Me too. X square square. X square square. Maybe I have to drop my weapon? It says single weapon tutorial. X, okay. X square square. X square square. He blocked all of it. But he's, he just blocks everything. X square square. There we go. That hit him. Wait, what was that? We like blew away from him. How are we supposed to damage him like that? Oh shit, get up. <laughs> we're gonna end up dying because we're gonna yeet ourselves off the fucking platform. It's the only way I can seem to hit him though. I don't try to keep like dodge rolling to the other side. I'm actually trying to like do it from over here. Why'd we do that? I do not understand game at all. Was he stunned? Hey, okay. I mean, we didn't do good, not at all, but at least we kind of won. It does seem like we're gonna have to fight him again though. Uh, up. I'm sure what the fuck was that? Uh, jump. I see there is still much I can teach you. Guess we have to go around. I can't seem to go up. Is it like. This isn't jank or anything, it's fine. How the fuck do we get up here? We like... No. We jump sideways after wall running up? No. I'm fortunate that you have fallen so easily. Did it give me a tutorial and I just missed it? What are we supposed to do here, man? I mean, obviously it wants us to go up there, but I can't just turn into a flock of birds and fly like that dude did. Not like climb up the vines or something. Jumping it doesn't do anything. We know we can't like crawl over there. Or like ledge 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 crawl, whatever. Bros, I'm legitimately stuck. I have no idea what the fuck to do. Oh, wait, do we go up here? Ah, okay. I see. Then wall run, okay. Rise up, Prince. Let us continue this. Oh, what the fuck happened there? 
What the fuck? Why do we, how do you rewind? Can we still rewind? I need to go into the controls. We get some Fs in chat. Can we that get was some rude. Fs in chat? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? I mean, I... Okay. That's fine. Where are we? We get to fight the dude again. Uh, um... Are we going the right way? No, this is the wrong way. I need to go to the controls real quick. Oh, they don't have controls. They just have the combo list. I just want to know like how to rewind time if it's a possibility. But I'm guessing it's not. Son of a bitch, dude. Oh, go up. Ah. Slapped on a flash game in 2007. I actually kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie. The music. They were using like actual rock music earlier on for the attract mode. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. I hate fucking everything, man. Instant death pits are the worst thing in gaming just ever. Fucking despise them. Especially when the controls are this fucking jank. <laughs> it was this way, right? Yes. Nope. I did it again. Ah, okay, this way. Across the chasm, the void. No, don't fucking. No, whatever. At least we can fast forward through the cutscenes. The only way I can seem to hit him is by jumping over him. But they put us on this tiny ass platform, so if we try to jump over him, the game just, like, sometimes decides we're dead. It's fine. No, and then sometimes it does that. I think I might be, like, hitting X twice. And that's why it sometimes decides to just fucking, like, jump away from him instead of just over him. I think I'm just getting a little, like, overzealous with the, with the X presses there. Oh, shit. I feel like that, uh, that backflip off shouldn't be an automatic thing. That should be, like, you have to press a button to do sort of thing. Okay, try not to fucking, like, yourself off the wall again and into the great abyss. You will pay for this transgression. Okay. Hmm. See, we got that. We just just need some practice. That's all. And okay, now, how do we get there? I feel like a simple wall run's not gonna be enough. But I don't see anything else to do off the. Uh, okay, we're good. We like go into the other view here. No. Um. I'll run back. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, I didn't even see this ledge here. Guess just jump for it. Let's go.
now that I know the trick to fighting him, he's very easy. We just have to make sure that the game's jank mechanics don't eat us off a fucking cliff or anything crazy. You aren't worth my time. Run up wall. Run towards wall holding R1. Yeah, I remember how to do that. Wait, we've literally had to do that to get here to like where we're at now. The fact the game feels the need to tell us that in a text tutorial is kind of off-putting. Can we like slide down that, that big red flag? I like how unsmooth <laughs> the camera is. Along the wall towards the curtain to slide along. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I will say switching between enemies is very easy. It's kind of like Batman, it just, the Arkham games, it just doesn't look as smooth. But like, just by changing the direction you're pressing, you can very easily switch between whoever you're fighting. Honestly, if it just had like a proper parry system, it would feel a lot like uh, the Assassin's Creed games, which makes sense. If late night, I once again require support for this important cause, which would be to entertain me. I shall try, my guy. Wish me luck. I'm very tired and kind of an idiot. So, <laughs> also, welcome, Nello. It's good to have you, my guy. Uh, also, very lost. Where are we? What are we doing? Where are we even trying to go right now? I know nothing. Other than the fact that we came down here. This looks important in some way. No? Okay. That maybe spinning around the column would like spin the column and do something. Their obvious door that I'm missing. I mean, there's this one, but it's closed. So. Thing over here. You like go over this wall. Is there a hole? No. The holes in the wall. Retreat when he's tired and stupid. He's very <laughs> I, stupid's the right word. Oh, uh, fuck. Don't fall down hole. I don't know about entertaining. Oh, over there. That looks like a hard jump. Can we make that easier in any way? Go up here. Boom. Um, Okay, so we go up here, and then I got some cool stuff. You got yourself a beautiful. I'm excited. What did you get? Tell me more. There's no way we're jumping that far. Ah, oh, no shit. That's sick, man. I want to get one just for like my own personal use, but I do not have the space for it. Not even close. But I would love to have one just to play retro consoles on. I love upscalers, um, like the retro tank that I have, man. They're amazing little devices, but there's nothing like actually playing on a CRT, especially a high quality one like a Sony Trinitron. There's no way we can make that jump. The, I, uh, maybe we can make that jump. I don't think we can, but maybe. Yeah. I do want to get one one of these days, though. I just got to get, like, an actual gaming space, an actual gaming room before I pick one of them up. Oh, damn it, we got to fight these guys again. I guess if we just jumped down, we'd die of, like, fall damage or something. Good job throwing that sword literally into the wall. Uh, don't die. Don't die. Hold on, call him. That's oh, that was. Cool. This is what I was trying to do. Chop their fucking heads off, please. What? They didn't even chop their heads off this time. I do not like the sounds these guys make. <laughs> like 11, 12 inches. Yeah, I know. Like they're not actually massive or anything. I mean, they definitely you can get big CRTs. But, like, I just have so little space in general, man. 
It's insane. Ooh. Ah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think I just accidentally stumbled upon the right way to go. Fuck yeah. Let's go, dude. I mean, maybe. There's still, <laughs> there's still a chance it's a dead end over here. Um, that looks like a ledge, yeah. And then drop and go around. We might have been able to make it, like jumping off of that wall over there, but I'm not positive. And this looks like a lot better option. There we go. Hell yeah, man. Mistakes for the win. That sound like a saw blade or something? Oh wait, is that a saw blade down there? Oh, there is, but it's like all the way down there. Maybe the game's just teaching us to keep an eye out for him. Yeah, okay. Good to see they're reusing the traps from the first game. I was honestly kind of surprised whenever they didn't pop up because like we saw those holes in the ground already. The ones that the, the the things come out of with the spinning blades and all that. Oh. Ah, fuck. Whatever. Oh. Madness. What magic is this? I mean, it appears to have something to do with the sands, which would make sense, <laughs> given where we are. We went back to, like, before the temple was shit and got kicked in the face. <laughs> nice. Game recall. The power lets you turn back time to a period when you were safe. When in trouble, press L1. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, I'm really happy to have that, actually. That would have saved us a couple of times. Again, game, I would like to thank you for this beautiful but absolutely garbage map. It seems I've discovered one of the time-traveling portals the old man spoke of. Wait, there's only certain portals? So... Can we time travel at any time or no? Yes. At least it appears we can. Is that what that little thing is that keeps like filling up? It is. Okay. So we don't have like a particularly long time to, to time travel, but. Played a whole lot of PS1 games on it so far. 2D Pixel art games look like paintings on it. It really is amazing, like, um, how much scan lines can change a picture. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. That's one of the cool things. Oh, you can steal? Did I just steal his weapon? Oh, get wrecked. Okay, anyways. Like, the, the retro tank that I have, 5X, has different scan lines built in that honestly, in my opinion, look pretty decent. Um, but it's terrible for streaming because the compression fucks it up real bad. Um, the retro tank 4K... Apparently, it um, is like pixel perfect to reference like high high definition like scans. You know, like taking a camera super close and getting an exact um, reference photos from things like Sony Trinitrons and other high end uh, KVMs and shit like that. Anyways, point is, apparently it's really fucking good, especially on like 4K OLED TVs and shit. But I do not have the money for a RetroTINK 4K. And again, kind of useless for streaming and recording because compression. But there is, what I, the whole point of what I was saying is, there's nothing quite like it in my opinion though. Playing like Sega games to me always really stuck out as a great example. Just look so much cleaner on a CRT than they do, like, on a modern LED TV of any type. 
They look a lot more like what I remember games looking like when I was younger, you know? Which makes sense, of course, because I was always playing on a CRT. Of course, they were shit CRTs, but still. You get rid of that. I just want the one weapon. So the doors are open again. I can't help but notice. Oh, that was close. Wait a second. Did we just go backwards? We just went backwards. <laughs> Fuck! I thought this hallway looked familiar with these things and... I'm gonna die. And this thing here. But I was like, nah, the game must just be reusing traps. It's fine. They reused traps from the first game. Why not reuse them multiple times in the same game? Nope, I'm just dumb. Okay, so do we just go up the same way, but then maybe end up somewhere different? No. Old triangle circle repeatedly? Okay, I don't... I'm not sure what the game's trying to tell us there. We go up this pole? Here we go. Progress. Oh, another chest. Give me Ash. More artwork. Over to here. Get up. Move quicker. Oh, wait. Can we not go around corners when we're up, though? That's dumb. You could have stepped around that, I think. Or is it like maybe it's not sticking out as far on the side? That's a real possibility. Uh, run. Okay, that did something. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, why would they put that on a timer? That's such a dick move. <laughs> okay. uh, I know where we're going now, at least. Up and around. And shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Puff. Give it to me now. Spent the first 18 years of your life constantly using CRTs. You're 23 now. What's wild to me isn't the fact that you spent the first 18 years of your life constantly using CRTs. Because I spent the first... Probably 17 years of my life constantly using CRTs. What's surprising to me is that you're 23 and spent the first 18 years of your life <laughs> using CRT. Just because, like, how common LED televisions have become over the past, you know, a little over a decade now. That's what surprises me. Because, like, when I was younger, LED TVs technically existed. Um, but... They were very expensive and pretty rare. No, I 100% I get it. I, when I was roughly... Oh, fuck. 15, 14, something like that. My granddad bought me a new TV uh, for my room. I don't remember why I needed a new TV, but he bought me one. And uh, it was a CRT TV. But, bro, what we... Bro, what? We made the Switch flat screens when I was like 13? That would have made me 19, but I also didn't live with you. So, like, and I had uh, flat screens when I was living alone in the house. <laughs> and I burnt that house down when I was 18. So, definitely made the Switch by, like, 16, 17. For me, you know? I can't say for you guys. at uh, mom's and your dad's house, but <laughs> for me, I made the switch around 16, 17. And then, uh, yeah, never went back to CRTs. I kind of wish I would have kept my old CRT, though, but it probably caught on fire whenever the house went up. So, down, 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 if I had to guess. Down, 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 down. 
Can we get a heal soon? Hopefully we can get a heal soon. But yeah, no. I don't remember, like, actually seeing... Because I never really went to the store when I was a kid. Like, that was a very rare thing for me growing up. Our parents always just left us at home. Um, whenever they went shopping. So I don't really, like, know how much TVs really costed. But I've heard stories of them being literally thousands of dollars for early LED TVs. And I always thought it was funny because my TV that my granddad bought me, my CRT, um, was advertised as a flat screen TV, but it was a CRT. Because instead of like the classic curved glass that they would put on top of the CRT, it was a flat sheet of glass. <laughs> So they advertised it as a uh, as a flat screen, even though like, yeah. <laughs> so I technically had a flat screen, but it was straight up just a. Oh, shit, we didn't want to come in here. A uh, oh Jesus Christ, it was straight up just a uh, a CRT though with some fancy advertising. And then my first flat screen, like actual LED flat screen TV that I bought. Um, I don't remember if I bought it for myself or if it was another thing my granddad bought for me shortly before he went to the nursing home. Uh, but it was probably like 30 inches, something like that. It was pretty big compared to the CRT that I had before. And I know I spent... Probably, I'm guessing, I don't remember for sure, but probably like $500 on it. And now I have an OLED television that I spent about that same amount of money on. <laughs> like, that's 65 inches, a hell of a lot bigger. <laughs> like, is wild how much TVs have changed in the past 10 years, 12, 12? Yeah, 12 to 14 years. Like, absolutely insane. Big ass one that Grand and Pap had? Yeah, I do. I also, I don't know if you've ever seen them off to Jack, but uh, a friend of the family that I that I knew, they had a uh, big ass CRT television, but it was one of like the HD ones. Oh, fucking camera angle changed. Um, it was like an HD projector big screen. Those things were wild too. Because like, it was a CRT style like body, but instead of, you know, a um, magnetron and all that in the back, it actually just had like a projector hidden in the bottom of it. And it was an HD projector that would like hit a mirror and then project the picture onto the screen. So it was like, you know, a 720p, 1080i, whatever, CRT TV, which was just CRT TV. That was really cool, but completely different like technology though. Bro, can, can these tutorials stop? Like, hold R1 to block. We, there's no way we would have made it this far if we didn't know how to do that. But now, it was slightly textured. Yeah, I I vaguely remember. Like, I don't remember all the details as much as you, but you also lived with your grandma and grandpa for a while. I never lived there, so you had a lot more exposure to that TV than I did. Chocobo, hello, sir. Your folks said you were born to carry in groceries. They didn't mean it, but still. We had to help in carry in the groceries, of course. Don't get me wrong. But we didn't get to go to, like, to the actual store with them, though. They would just, like, uh, you know, go to the store, buy the groceries, and then come back and tell us, hey, uh, there's more bags in the car. Help carry that shit in. Like, I almost wonder... Opta Jack, if it was a projector TV that Gran and Pap had, and the projector, like the lasers were just worn out on it, would it be in that dark? That's something that can happen with them. It's like lasers or light bulbs or whatever kind of projector it was, they wear out over time. Probably light bulbs for older TVs like that. I don't know when laser projection became, like, common, but even now, laser projectors are pretty expensive. 
Ah, fuck. No. Uh, we found out that we still have two more chapters to do. So Baldur's Gate is not finished, sadly. Um, and there's a fight that we actually are really going to struggle to get around. Like, struggle, struggle. We tried, what, three or four times? Never even really got close to finishing that fight that we came across. Um, it got to the point to where, like, I literally looked it up to see if there was any, like, way to get around it, and not really. <laughs> Depending what spells our mages know or what scrolls we currently have on us, we might be able to either cheese it or there might be one way around it, but it's, it's going to be a hard one. Ruse folks had them help pack the groceries for the cashier. Yeah, can't say I ever did that. You have an old Polaroid of you in front of it as a child. Curious to see if you can find the model. Oh, fuck. I almost ran right into that trap. I'm sure. Fuck you. Bro, that hurt. Okay, rewind. Honestly, I wish I did have a better build, but like, I went with chat. I just, I've learned my lesson. Don't listen to chat. Jesus, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Run and jump. Yeah, there we go. Just do our own thing. It's listening to the chat that has fucked our build for both Morrowind and for Potter's Gate. So, like, <laughs> that's our problem. Really bringing the team down? I mean, if that's the honest truth, we could always just leave Esther behind. And just use... <laughs> Bro, that's jank as fuck. Anyways, we could just leave Esther behind and then just do the do the thing with, you know, do the fight with everybody else. Because as long as Esther lives and can make their way out of the, the catacombs alive, then we could always pay a shit ton of money to bring everybody else back. What's my favorite class to play in D&D &D style games? In D&D uh, &D 5e. Because that's the edition that I that I actually play and have books for and whatnot. Uh, either Rogue or Barbarian. I've really grown to love Barbarians. They're a ton of fun. Uh, monks are also pretty cool, but... Probably Barbarian, though, <laughs> to be honest. There's some fun stuff you can do with them. Um, they just rage the fuck out, you know, hawk the fuck out. And yeah, a bard so I can sing everything? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bards are very useful. Um, for their buffs in D&D &D for sure. And like, I would say at least in D&D &D 5e, things seem to be a bit more balanced. You can still power game and like break characters for sure with the amount of damage that you can do per per round per turn or whatever but like just your basic builds seem to be a bit more balanced in D&D &D 5e than they were in in second edition plus like having feats and stuff that you just I've never played, like, actual D&D 2nd Edition, obviously, just Baldur's Gate. So, like, I don't know how much it applies to the actual game. But in D&D 5e, the tabletop version, there seems to be a lot more customization that you can do with your character as well, which is nice. Because you have, like, feats that you can apply every so many levels. Or uh, if the DM once can, can just give to you throughout the story of the game and shit like that. Like, which can, honestly, the feats can completely change your characters. Completely. Um, they're insane, so. But yeah, probably, probably Barbarian. Rogues and, uh, fighters have, or not fighters, rogues and archers, rangers, whatever the fuck you want to call them, have the option to get some magic spells, which is really cool. Um, and rogue sneak isn't as shit <laughs> in, in at least the tabletop version. So, like, it's a lot easier to get behind people or to get, like, sneak attacks where, and, like, sneak attacks give you, if I remember correctly, I'd have to look at the rule book, but I'm pretty sure it's double die damage. Um, the rogues are actually, like, a lot more useful. 
than than the thief seems to be on D and D second edition, or at least in Baldur's Gate. Is the input for the voting case sensitive? No. No. Oh no no, it's not automatic. I wish it was. <laughs> that would make things a lot easier, and I do plan on doing that someday. Um, but that requires me to make my own bot, and I have not gotten around to that. So, now as long as I can understand what game it's meant for, then I can uh, add the vote manually, or I will add the vote manually. Uh, usually before we do the PS2 streams, when we add the votes. I'm still not 100% positive where we're trying to go. So, I don't want to go in there, but I don't think that's where we're trying to get. Is it over here? really like the quick jump feature of this game, like when you're on poles. You have to see the vote and chat yourself. It's uh, Since it's a reward for uh, for Twitch, it's added to the reward queue. But even if I miss it in chat, it's still in a queue and I have to like actually click a button to take it out of the queue. Or one of the mods does, but... no, oh, fuck, we're dead. But, <laughs> but yeah. Additional backstab die in 5e? Have you mostly done homebrew campaigns? There might be... I thought it was just double die damage, or just double the number of dies. So like if you roll 1d6 for damage, then you would roll 2. But at, like, say, higher levels, if you have a weapon that does 2d6 damage, then you would roll 4d6, I think is how it works. But again, could be wrong. Do that every stream, usually before the PS2 games, is when I go through the reward queue and actually add the votes. Because um, that's when the votes actually matter. Whenever I'm playing, like, Morrowind or Baldur's Gate with my brother or whatever, then the votes don't really matter, so I don't really worry about adding them then. Uh, can is it possible? Can we jump on the chains? No. Where are we going? It feels like we should be going there, but like right there. But it doesn't seem like we can jump onto these chains. Oh, oh, bruh! I'm holding on one. Why no rewind? Fuck. Okay. Anyways, we jumped from too high. Maybe that's not the right place to go. We did just save recently, thankfully. Oh, yeah, literally just in the same room, even. Wait a second. Is this where we actually came from? No. They just respawned because I died, right? I'm pretty sure. You're gonna head to bed, you're tired and need sleep, bruh. I 100% get that. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, Rue. Thank you for stopping out, man. Hopefully, see you again in a couple of days. I had to remember what day it was. Sunday for uh for some more. That would have been fun. Oh, or not. <laughs> You'll be in a hotel for on-site training, so you can't make it to streams that way. That makes sense. Yeah, I hope your training goes well, man. And again, seriously, congrats. On the uh, on the job, man. Really glad for you. Really happy for you. And awesome that the interview went well enough. They just hired you. Like, <laughs> really sick, dude. Good night. Yeah, so we we came from over here. Enemies respawned because we died. Yes, because we came up behind that guy. Okay. So if we're not going straight across to there, and I see no way to get up to there, we yeah, we did go up here. Going up here just lets us get on these poles. We can't seem to jump onto chains. That only leaves where I just was. Congratulatory dad milk. <laughs> Fun. Chocobo's just got some weird ass emotes, man. He claims he was gifted. S Game so jank. I like it. Good. But fuck is it jank? He claims he was gifted some weird ass subs, but we all know what happened.
sucky sucky <laughs> wait what is that what that fucking says at first i thought it said snacky snack and i was like that's a dope emo man i don't see what the problem is i love me some good snacky snacks but that looks like sucky sucky and that <laughs> oh, oh we can just jump straight over bro that's okay Sooner or later, I'll get a feel for how far we can jump and how far we can't. Oh, I'm guessing the circles that fill in are how many times we can actually rewind. And then, like, the half moon thing, the crescent moon thing, is just how far back we can rewind. Okay. I think you subbed to that stream you saw on front page yesterday. Yeah, right before I hopped on stream with OptiJack yesterday. I don't even remember the streamer's name. Um, but it was popped up in the, like, suggested stream section for me. And, like, the, the screenshot for it was just, like, straight up half-naked lady. And I was like, bruh, for real? So I clicked on it, and it was the most boring shit in the world. She literally just, like, sat on a fucking rubber chicken. And then, like, sat on it for, like, five seconds. And then slowly leaned forward so the, the rubber chicken thing just like very slowly and loudly fucking screeched out like for 20 minutes it was terrible and like i thought according to optijack twitch now has a nudity allowed thing under certain circumstances non-video game related circumstances and like she wasn't naked to be fair but she might as well have been like there was very little clothing and I thought you were only allowed to do that if you were, like, in a bathtub or a hot tub or some shit. But, again, apparently that's just not a thing now. I don't know. Go to the ASMR page. It's awful. I've uh, popped up or have had some ASMR videos on YouTube pop up for me. And, bruh, like, that is some of the horniest content I've ever seen off of Pornhub. Like, <laughs> it's fucking wild. Like, straight up basically naked sometimes just like see-through clothing and just like licking microphones and shit you know <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's fucking wild bro but whatever you're into i guess man who am i to judge i just don't understand like the bikini stream stuff personally like yeah sure they're hot women or whatever but, like, bro, you can just go to Pornhub and see hot women naked. Like, actually naked. You know? <laughs> like, if, you, if that's what you want to do, why do you need to see one just in a bikini sitting on a rubber chicken? I don't I just don't fucking get it. I don't know, man. Whatever. To each their own. Have It's not my life. Whatever. It's just, the content's obviously not for me. That's, like... Porn stars won't read your chat name. That's what fucking live stream porn's for. I don't. What's the one that always used to pop up? Optijack knows the name of it. Live Jasmine or whatever. Not a not a recommendation. I don't even know if that site still exists. It could be like straight malware, for all I know. But like, I ever just remember that popping up a lot when I was younger. Um, it does. <laughs> of course, he knows. He knows. <laughs> Uh, you get pop-ups? Yeah, okay. You probably got, like, a premium subscription or something, man. Every chat room you go into, they just automatically get, like, 20 bucks. Ban that cool, like, 100 a month to them. I got you. No point lying, man. We're not gonna kink shame here. Dude, get off my face, please. <laughs> Bro, okay, we're gonna get our ass kicked here again. If we do ever play the Prince of Persia games straight up, we're gonna have to play them in easy mode. I suck at these games. There's like no way to get her off you. Oh, fuck, is that Azula? <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh, that's rude. She knocked us off her. Bro, you can't be like me. You can't be a ninja and shit. Bro, just let me fucking hit you, lady. There 
Die, please. Somebody's throwing shit at me, but... Why can't you fall in an instant death pit or... Did I answer you about the dishwasher? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing you write a message about... Bro, we just cut her head off. Get wrecked. Anyways, what was the question about the dishwasher, love? I'm sorry. I must have missed it. Too busy talking about <laughs> bikini streamers and shit. But I want you to... Oh, no, I can load it. That's fine, love. I don't mind doing it. I know you're busy making your cookies and shit, which I did see the cookie dough complete message. Good job on that. Noodles making like how many dozens at this point? Many dozens, it's safe to say, of cookies for like her mother and Christmas and all that shit. It's wild. Um, after left analog stick to turn around. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, if you need it loaded like now for some reason, then by all means go ahead. But if you don't mind waiting in for like another half hour or whatever, then I can get it. Is this the official? <laughs> the official. Uh, I'm fucking tired. Is this the official original soundtrack? Yeah, 100%, man. That's. <laughs> Now the the game does seem to have some dope metal shape. It also has a saliva song as the uh, attract mode song. Surprise me. Uh, I walk alone. I don't. I'm making your lunch, and then you'll put dish away. Dirty dishes are for you, BB. Ah, thanks, BB. So happy. I always wanted more dirty dishes. Ooh, there probably won't be room. But Noodle found these like mason jars. For like meal prep it's like it's a mason jar a different size than normal mason jar but a mason jar and then it comes with like a smaller mason jar that fits perfectly like on the top of it and like the the ridge of it sits on top the the ring the opening for the mason jar so it just like kind of floats above everything else and then uh it has like a, a lid that can go over that and seal it all up so you can like make it make salads and stuff in it or or like uh, oats, overnight oats, or whatever the fuck you want. Um, soup and crackers, I guess you could probably do. Like put crackers in the top and then put like soup in the bottom of it. Which actually is never... A, or I never thought of, but it honestly sounds like a really cool idea to me. That might be something I use it for. Because I really like soup. Never do meal prep, you throw food out after three days. I do the same thing unless it's like, you know, like yogurt or cheese or something that can obviously last more than a few days but i don't keep leftovers for more than three days but i'm a big uh i'm a big soup person so i tend to make a bunch of soup and then freeze it because in the freezer it'll stay good technically indefinitely as long as it stays below zero degrees um but it might like get a little freezer burn after a while or whatever but i couldn't give a shit so <laughs> so yeah i just make a bunch of soup that's what I do. And then freeze it. And then I just, whenever I get hungry, I just throw that soup in the, the microwave for honestly a long time. And it thaws and heats up and then it's good to go. Maybe have some like butter toast or rice or something with it. Um, some of my my soups, uh, I put in like bowls with multiple contain multiple compartments in the container, like bento box style. They're not bento boxes, but yeah. Anyways. And then I'll put, like, rice in the small container, or the small compartment, and then uh, soup in the big compartment, and then, yeah. You just heat it up for, like, three minutes, take the rice out of the small side, and then heat it up for another, like, five minutes so that the uh, soup can cook, and then there you go. Inherited from my grandpa? It's true, I did. My grandpa used to use uh, butter bowls, but they would freeze, like, giant butter bowls. Oh, fuck of a uh, soup and then um like whenever it came dinner time or whatever if we didn't feel like cooking just grab some grab a butter bowl of soup out of the fridge and heat that shit up press x to jump oh wait so we can't just like block like normal ah uh, fuck i mean that makes sense i guess i love soup 
I really, really, really like soup. It's true. Can we talk this? I make a lot of soup. I eat a lot of soup. Not big on canned soup. I do have some of it, but just never, never been a big lover of it. What is your biggest, biggest, <laughs> biggest pet peeve in the online gaming community? Question of the day. Uh, fucking gatekeeping, man. That's 100% what it is. Like, specifically people who min and max, min max everything. Like, everything has to be fucking perfect. You know, you gotta have the perfect build and deal at least this amount of damage. And you better be serious about every fucking quest and raid and all that shit. Like, bro, I play video games to have fun. I do not fucking give a shit. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, sorry, it's a little extreme. But, like, are you adding someone? No, it's not anybody specific. It's just, like, bro, like, just chill. Like, that's one of the reasons why whenever I play, like, MMOs and whatnot, I usually just play solo. Because, like, I do not give a shit. I'm just here to fuck around, have a fun time, and beat the game. I don't I don't care about having literally the perfect build, you know? I'm not here to get high scores and shit. I just want to have fun, man. I don't need... It's like... And it hurts the community, in my opinion, as a whole, whenever... Uh, people like start getting angry and yelling at you because you misclicked and used or used your fucking ultimate at the wrong time or whatever. Like it's fucking garbage, man. Hate that shit. So like, just let people have fun. And if you're one of those people, then like that's fine. Be one of those people. But whenever somebody like joins in your random lobby and they don't play the way you want them to play, just join a different fucking lobby instead of being a dick about it. Like, I'm gonna die here. Jesus Christ, between the Shadow Beast and, and Red Lady. You're gonna say Edgelords? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, yeah. <laughs> just some fucking, for me, it's just, it's sweaty people, I guess. Like, like super sweaty people. Thumb scans. Oh, the completionist. Yeah, noodle. It's uh, so not the completionist himself so much as his mother died of um, I forget what it was exactly, but of some sort of disease. And there's not much like medical research about whatever it was that that took her life, sadly. And so his father um founded some sort of charity. Uh, shortly after her death to help raise money for research to, you know, prevent more deaths um, of that sort of thing, whatever it was. And he, uh, the completionist, is a board member of that uh, of that charity. And every year, I believe it's once a year, um, he does a fundraiser for the charity. And um, he has made some claims during those fundraisers that make it sound as though... They have been donating that money every year to different research projects and whatnot. Well, it recently came out that no money had ever been donated. Ever. Um, so, like, a lot of people were mad at him about that. And uh, they have, like, donated the money now. They raised, like, $600,000 in total or whatever. Um, and 600 some thousand. Bro, no. No, 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 no. Go back. Anyways, and they, they donated $600,000 so, of it, which is nearly everything. But there still seems to be some money that was raised that may have been kept off the books or possibly spent irresponsibly and not um, mentioned or whatever. And, uh, yeah. And basically, people are just mad because, like, his whole excuse was, like, look, between my, my YouTube career and everything, I didn't know that this money wasn't being put to use. Yes, I'm a board member, but, like, I don't know anything about the books. And other people were like, look, I am also a board member of a charity, and, like, this is stuff that you just know. Like, it's kind of bullshit to think that you wouldn't, uh, just kind of unbelievable or whatever. And uh, apparently he found out a year ago, but didn't say anything about it and has been working ever since then to try and get that money to be donated properly. 
but that's his side of the story so like nobody knows for sure for sure something about the worst apology from him on streams homepage yeah i haven't actually watched it so i don't know what his apology was or anything like that um but yeah i'm i'm i want to believe his side of the story just because i like his content um but at the end of the day he he fucked up even even if his side of the story is true and he found out about it a year ago and he's been working on getting it dealt with ever since then he should have as soon as he found out about it he should have you know did like a public apology like hey i just found out this thing about the charity i've been raising money for i'm very sorry to you guys or whatever and uh should it have taken a year for that money to finally be donated probably not the fact that it didn't get donated until after you know the internet started blowing up about it makes it just even more sus so like yeah it's not a good look sadly Yeah, that's how I heard about it. Because I love Carl Jobst as well. That's where it popped up for me initially. And, uh, yeah. It sucks. Said, I want to believe Carl, but, or Carl. <laughs> I want to believe, uh, the completionist. But it's, uh, it's hard to. And even if you do believe his side, it's still pretty sketch rude stop stomping on her feet i'm really not looking forward to fighting you again lady there you go yeah keep getting distracted by her carl said so actually yeah <laughs> i haven't watched his newest video the one where he... Yeah, it's a Carl Jobs video you're referencing, love. The worst apology ever. I haven't seen that specific video yet. But I've watched... As far as I'm aware, I've watched all of Carl's other videos about the, the whole situation. Ow. Yeah, I think it... Didn't... Didn't... Hmm. I thought it came out yesterday, I thought, but I could be wrong. I remember. You're garbage, lady. Fuck. I get so overzealous and, like, start, like, mashing X. And mashing X makes me jump off of them, like, away from them, not just over them. Nothing good will come of your sacrifice. You call yourself a master, Try again. Oh shit, what the fuck? I was trying to do that. For some reason I just jumped straight up in the air. You have no place. Worst YouTube probably still goes to Colleen to you. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that his would be worse than Colleen's, but I'll hold my uh, my judgment until I actually see it. <laughs> you call yourself a master swordsman? Bro, sometimes she just like doesn't block at all, and other times she has no openings ever. Fucking weird fight. You better have brought more than a ukulele then. My god. That's throwing some shade right there. <laughs> Damn. Wine gone. Wait. Good wine. Need to get more of that. I must speak with you. What do you want from me? I seek an audience with the Empress. <laughs> the Empress meets with no one. Who do you think you are? I am the Prince of Persia. I see. Today is a very important day. She cannot be disturbed. I don't think you understand how important this is. Don't you know? You cannot change your fate. You cannot Nearby. change your fate. Was she speaking to me? How could she know my mission? 
I mean, she straight up admitted to you that the Empress sent her or whatever, right? So, like... I love the way that just clipped through those chandeliers, like... I guess we'll just have to kill her, right? Go God of War on this bitch. Fates get in the way, you just deal with the fates. Problem solved. Map, yeah. Here's our map. <laughs> it's, it's fucking... Cool, we go that way. It tells us fucking nothing. <laughs> I like the game. I really do. I promise I do. I'm just irritated by its, like, smaller flaws because of how much I like the game. So, like, the jank shit with trying to fight things and just jumping off of a wall randomly. Like, I can't even do it now when I'm trying to. But, <laughs> but like, sometimes we'll just dive off a wall straight to our death for no reason. <laughs> like, shit like that. Or the terrible AI that the that one person had. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so it's just the little problems. Honestly, at the end of the day, they're little problems, but they just bother me that much more because I, I just do legitimately like the game. Seriously love playing these games, but oh, do I hate the combat or hated the combat. I only played a bit of, I want to say the first one when I was younger. I knew of them, but never really played them. <laughs> And then, of course, once Assassin's Creed became popular, I played a lot of Assassin's Creed, but yeah. Uh, okay, wait. Can we, like, do the thing where we get on top of these? No. We're gonna have to wall jump. And then... Oh, no. Okay, we just went straight to it. Fuck yeah. All the cutscenes for Ragnarok come up on your feed today, and I have no reason to play Ragnarok. That's one of the reasons why I don't watch very many Let's Plays these days, personally. I used to watch a lot more when I was younger let's plays but now i don't watch that many because i don't want spoilers for games until after i watch them i still watch a lot of let's plays for like um um like many a true nerds let's plays or like fallout and, and elder scrolls and shit like that but that's because like i've either beaten those games or have played them enough that i'm not worried about spoilers <laughs> but for something like god of war i will not watch a let's play of it until how do I... But like, I want to... Oh, okay. We go back and forth. I see. Anyways, yeah. I will not watch a Let's Play of it until I until I beat the game. Cookie dough on the side of my... How the hell did you get cookie dough on your neck, love? That's impressive. Good job. That was a certain head without a body. <laughs> nice. Wait. It wasn't spoiler for the first God of War game. I, I never remember the guy's name anyways, but it wasn't the, the dude's head that you carry around in the first one, right? Because I don't know if I'd consider like that a spoiler, I guess. Because like it doesn't happen in the second game, it happens in the first. I don't know. That's some nuance I don't understand. Okay, it looks like we're going down. Or right here. Oh, and jump across, and then up, and we jump up. No, okay, so it's round. No worries, we got this. In. We do kind of carry a head through the whole 2018 game. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, I know it's a spoiler-ish, but, like, is it a spoiler, though? I don't know. But it, it was a different head, though, I'm guessing. <laughs> Not the same head. That was my whole, that was my whole point, my whole question. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't have any rewinds. Well, we're dead. I guess that's that for <laughs> that try. Try again. 
Uh, wonder where the last checkpoint was. Probably when we saved. Yeah, when we saved. Why'd the music start over? Um, is it this way? Yeah, okay, it's this part. I feel like we should be fighting some shit right now with the way this music's going, man. This is like getting me pumped up and all we're doing is some <laughs> slow-ass parkour. Oh shit, no, that's not what we're this way. There we go. Um, is this where we got lost at? Can we make that jump? I don't have any rewinds, so I hope so. Nope, the answer's no. Hmm. I wish we had more rewinds. <laughs> oh, even if it was just like a short period of time. Maybe the game could like tell the difference between dying because you fell in a pit and dying to an enemy. And just give us a free rewind whenever we fall in a pit. It might have been because you licked the pat, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's probably the problem there, love. Try again. I feel like I'm, I must just be missing something like super obvious. Oh wait, yeah, there's the rope here. Of course, I'm just an idiot. Okay. Can we make it over that? Probably not. I feel we, okay, go up higher. This high? Oh, shit. Oh, do we have to pull the bar? And then that closes the doors. Okay. And then R1. Oh shit, fuck, dude, no, game. Why is there a hole there? <laughs> God damn it, dude. How do I lose this many times in one section? Oh, by the way, I mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it again just because I think it's really cool. Twitch has a feature now where uh, clips that anybody makes, I can uh, turn into a vertical clip for like a TikTok-like feed on Twitch. But then it can also be uploaded to TikTok and YouTube Shorts, which is really, really fun. We don't tend to do clips much here, but uh, if we do do any clips, I may uh, upload them because, yeah. It's just a cool feature. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> what? Are you modding? Did you mod in a stack of tits? The Dragon Age? <laughs> I don't remember fighting a stack of tits in Dragon Age. That's all I'm saying. Granted, I never beat the game, but I played a bit of it, and I definitely never fought a stack of tits, my guy. Okay. So we close that. Maybe now we can run across. Like, wall run across. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, please don't, okay. Where I fucking suck. It's the epilogue DLC? Okay, yeah, no, I definitely never played the epilogue DLC. Jack X original soundtrack that had a banger me metal OST. Yeah, Jack X in general was awesome, man. Me and my brother played a little bit of that in multiplayer not that long ago. It was, what, like a year ago? Um, Ton of fun, man. The game in general was a ton of fun. Really, really good. Oh, hi, friends. Oh, God. Oh, why are there so many of you? This is not fair. I do not consent to any of this. Uh, these people... Oh, my God. Is there a way other than, like... Okay. Guarding to... De oh, shit. 
How did you guys get over here? I was hoping we could like funnel them through the door. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. Then why are you hurting me? There we go. Just keep doing the wall kick shit. Good miss. Or not. I'm just mashing square and hoping for the best. Cause I can't, I can't like do the shit where I like jump over them. Like I can't cheese them like we do the bosses and shit. And there's just too many of them to like really try and guard guard them. Combat obvious honestly seems like a little a little overdone in the game. If we play the games for real, 100%, I'm just going to put it on easy mode, man. No oh god, we're going to die. We have no rewinds left. They hop on my head one more time, we're fucking dead. Or please, like you're Oh, yep, that's it. GG. <laughs> Perfect circle. A perfect circle sounds really familiar, but I cannot for the life of me remember like if I actually know who that is or not. Where's the checkpoint at? Depending where the checkpoint is, we might keep going or we might just call it there. We're awfully close to three o'clock anyway. I still need to like shower and stuff for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, no, it brought us all the way back here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for um uh, I got the case right here. Prince of Persia Warrior Within. I couldn't remember the name of the fucking game. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyways, I am going to put it on the the list of games to complete along with the the, the first one, The Sands of Time. Because, uh, again, I do really enjoy the games. It's just there's some letdowns here and there. Good shit, though. I think it was the guy from Tool. I probably have heard of them at some point. I never listened to a ton of Tool. I like Tool, but I never listened to a ton of them. My cousin used to listen to them some so more than me at least maybe that helps remembering it does sound familiar my when i used to hang out with my cousin a lot and whenever i lived with him even um i listened to a lot more rock bands in general because he was very heavy into rock music <clears throat> so and he knew more music in general than i did he's like three years older than me so he just had more time to you know and experience looking people up on the internet and all that shit. So, like, yeah. Later on, have a good night, Chocobo. Enjoy the rest of, I'm presuming, your shift at work. I'm going to butcher this. Billy Howardell <laughs> founded the band. That name does not sound familiar at all. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to make anything up. No idea who that is. I hope he's not some, like, huge name in music. Because if he is... It's right over my head. Cause <laughs> oh, God. But a perfect circle does sound familiar, though. Oh, my God. Anyways. Um, what are they doing? Jack X was one of his works. Okay. Uh, da -da. I need to remember. Put this shit on the list. So I'm going to pull that up. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Jack X was really good. So the music for it was really good. So obviously the dude's talented, but but yeah, I don't know like who that is in particular though. Um, yeah, no. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I do appreciate you all. It was fun, even if I did get frustrated at times. I'm gonna hop off, get a shower, and all that shit. I will be back Sunday night to play some more Morrowind. We're trying to make our way. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Noodle. As quick, but more or less as quickly as possible through the main story, um, so that we can move on to the next game. I'm enjoying Morrowind, but I feel like it's time to move on from that. And then, what is it? Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday we'll be back with another PS2 game. Yeah. You don't think you donated? It says you donated, unless it's just like really delayed. <laughs> but it says you donated. 
five bits right there with little faces. Oh, earlier in the day. Okay, I was going to say, like, <laughs> like, bruh, it's right there. What do you mean you don't think you donated? Anyways, either way, thank you. Donated, didn't thank you, or didn't thank you. Fuck. I'm tired, obviously. Donated, didn't donate, doesn't matter. <laughs> thank you, anyways. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all. But, yeah. What was I saying? I was saying goodbye. Goodbye, good night. <laughs> Have a wonderful afternoon, uh, night, day, where I, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm getting the fuck off here. Be kind to each other, y'all. Till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>